Hey guys, today is gonna to be a very short video. The video mainly today, it's the difference between physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen. It's because we get lots of comments asking us what are the differences between both and which one you should actually choose for your skin. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down all the very complicated parts of sunscreen and just gonna to explain to you very easily uh, the difference between a physical and a chemical sunscreen so that you guys can make the best decision. However, before we continue with the video, guys, we realize that most of you are not subscribers, so just smash the subscribe button. It helps the channel tremendously. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we try and debunk as much myth as possible and break down the very technical stuff about skincare so that it's much easier for all of us to understand. So in today's video, it's going to be the difference between physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen. Now first, let's talk about the term sunblock versus sunscreen. Now, the term sunblock generally refers to physical blockers or physical sunscreen because it blocks UV radiation from absorbing into your skin. Now, the word sunscreen generally is used for chemical sunscreens whereby it creates like a screen on top of your skin. But nowadays, the terms are interchangeable and majority of the sunscreen we use these days are actually hybrid sunscreens. That means they have both the physical and the chemical side. So, for the ease of explanation, I'm just gonna call all of it sunscreen. Now, what is chemical sunscreen? Now, chemical sunscreen has long been taught to create this shield on your skin to absorb the UV rays. So what happens with chemical sunscreen, and there are tons of them, I have a list. All right, so a lot of them are very difficult to pronounce. The most common is oxybenzone and avobenzone. But of course, you have things like octinoxate, octocryoline, and homocyanate, and tons of other new chemical sunscreens. And chemical sunscreens has are uh, being invented. New chemical sunscreens are actually being invented on a monthly basis. So, you know, there's a lot to actually keep up to date. But generally, how they work is this. When you apply the chemical portion of the sunscreen on your skin, they actually absorb into the epidermal layer of your skin. Now, what happens is when you have UV rays coming down, the UV rays then hit this chemical sunscreens or this chemical properties, and then this particular chemicals then convert the UV rays into heat. Now, this conversion is important because you do not want the UV rays to actually get into the dermal layer, and that is where your melanocytes are. Your melanocytes are the ones giving your skin color, and you have too much UV rays, it causes hyperpigmentation. And you also want the UV rays to prevent from getting into your dermal layer, which is most of your collagen. So it means that when the UV rays hit your collagen, your collagen just starts to break down, and hence you get, you know, you age much, much quicker. So the chemical sunscreen forms a layer on your skin or inside your skin, your epidermal layer, absorbs UV rays, converts it to heat, and it spreads it around. Now, where does the heat go? It goes into your skin and it goes into the surrounding. But there's no need to fear. There's actually not much heat being produced because whatever light you see, only five to 7% is actually UV rays. That means that most of the UV rays, when it converts to heat, you know, it doesn't really increase your skin temperature by much, you know, if it's likely less than one degree Celsius. Now then what happens to the chemical sunscreen part? After it converts into heat, there's chemical, that particular chemical structure relaxes and then absorbs more heat and then changes them to heat and vice versa and it goes around and around. Now that's generally how chemical sunscreens work. Hey guys, are you using any pure chemical sunscreen? Let me know in the comments below which brand and which type you're using. So what is physical sunscreen? Some people call it inorganic sunscreen. So sunscreen generally composes of two main ingredients. Either it's zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Both are FDA approved to be used in sunscreens. The way that the physical sunscreens work has always been taught that when you apply your skin, it reflects as much UV rays away from your skin as possible. However, what we know this days is that is actually false. It only reflects 5% of the total UV rays from your skin. So what happens to the other 95%? 
Now, the other 95% converts to heat. Now, what happens is when UV rays hit this physical sunscreen, the physical sunscreen will then absorb the UV rays, convert majority of them into heat, and then dissipate not only into your skin, but into the surrounding as well. And it means that physical sunscreen actually works as a blocker and at the same time, it works like a chemical sunscreen. And you hate the white cast that physical sunscreen produces, right? That whitish discoloration caused by the zinc or titanium dioxide. Now this is because white color actually reflects as much heat and light away from your skin as possible. It means that if you want to prevent light or UV rays from absorbing into your skin, you need your sunscreen to be white. Now, of course, there's a lot of new technology these days with tinting of, the, of your physical sunscreen or nanoparticles. However, end of the day, the white cast is still there. Hey guys, do you hate the white cast caused by physical sunscreen? Let me know in the comments below how, what are the tips and methods that you do with your physical sunscreen to minimize the white cast. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of both, right? The pros and cons of the chemical sunscreen first. Now the pros of chemical sunscreen is it generally gives you the maximum protection or what we call broad spectrum. It means it absorbs both UVA and UVB. Now this is important because you want as much protection on your skin as possible. And second benefit of chemical sunscreen, it doesn't leave that nasty white cast. So chemical sunscreens can be integrated into a lot of your skincare, integrated into your lotions, into your serums, into your creams, can also be integrated into your makeup as well. However, one of the cons or downside of chemical sunscreen is that a chemical sunscreen can cause an allergic reaction especially if your skin is prone to inflammation. Now, what is inflammation? Things like eczema, psoriasis, even active acne. Hence, when you're using a chemical sunscreen and your skin is prone to all these issues, you're going to trigger these skin issues to actually appear. Of course, there's another scandal of chemical sunscreen whereby the chemical sunscreen, if you apply and you're diving, it actually bleaches the corals and kills off the corals. And another scandal that appears from chemical sunscreen is that there is a small study that says that it causes cancer, especially breast cancer. However, that has been debunked and at the same time, you know, more research needs to go on. Now let's talk about the pros and cons regarding physical sunscreen. Now the pros regarding physical sunscreen is, is quick application. It means when you apply, you can actually go out into the sun ASAP. You do not need to wait for it to be absorbed, unlike chemical sunscreen. Roughly, you need to wait 20 to 30 minutes. Physical blockers, you can apply and you can go out ASAP. It can also be used by babies up to the very old age. It means that it spreads out across all the age groups. And it's great for skin which is prone to inflammation. As we spoke earlier, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, acne, all right? So if you have all these skin issues, stick to physical sunscreen. Now, the downside of the sunscreen, the white cast. Nobody likes it. Unfortunately, it is a necessary evil because it reflects as much light away from your skin as possible. And there are ongoing technology like nanoparticles and tinting, which reduces the appearance of white cast. But unfortunately, I think we still have to live with the white cast. Hey guys, that's the end of the video. But if you need help choosing sunscreen, we have tons of videos about sunscreen, both physical, both chemical, and at the same time, hybrid sunscreens. So you can check out the playlist here. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Turn on the bell button so that you can be informed of the new videos that we release on a weekly basis. Now that's it from me. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And remember to always stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.